Hello YouTube, today I'm at the Chicago Auto Show taking a look at this all new 2021 Chevy Tahoe. This particular one is the RST model. Very, very nice looking vehicle. Starting off up front, you're gonna notice the LED lights seem very similar to the Chevy Silverado and that's because they share the <laughs> same headlights. With the RST, you are gonna get the blacked out grille as well as badges. This vehicle does have the 360 degree camera system, so you're gonna have your front facing camera right underneath the blacked out Chevy bow tie. Parking sensors included in the front portion of the bumper. Coming around to the side, you're gonna have a black and machined RST wheel, and these are some Bridgestone Alenzas, and those look to be a 275-50R22. Black running boards, sure black Tahoe badging as well as your mirror camera right here color match mirror caps this vehicle has the proximity entry system so as long as you have the key fob in your pocket you can lock and unlock the vehicle from any of the four doors coming around back we have your capless fuel fill port the new updated LED taillights which makes this look very aggressive blacked out Chevy bow, bow tie, Tahoe badging right here, as well as your backup camera. Parking sensors are right here, and here is your RST badge. Now when you're towing, this plastic piece will be removed giving you access to the hitch, but when you're not towing, it looks very clean. Again, the tail lights on this vehicle are just insane. This thing looks very aggressive. Let's take a closer look at the interior. Starting off on the left hand side, you're going to have your two seat memory, window controls, the front two are automatic up and down, and then in front of that you're going to have your uh, mirror controls. Over here, you're going to have your push uh, power um, parking brake, lane keep assist, parking sensors off, this is your, uh, what is this, this is your traction control off automatic start off and then the power to power the adapter power plug in the rear of the vehicle. Right here you're going to have your mode selector and then above that you're going to have your push button transfer case. Over here you have your uh, dimmer switch for the interior lights of the vehicle and then under that you're going to have the rotary dial for the exterior lights of the vehicle. To the right of that you're going to have your integrated trailer brake control. Coming up to the instrument cluster, you're gonna have your tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, and then various gauges up in the middle. Under that, you're gonna have your LCD display screen. Coming back to the steering wheel, very nice leather wrapped red stitching RS steering wheel with the black bow tie. Cruise control buttons are on the left side. Lane keep assist is right here, and your heated steering wheel button is right here. Over on this side, you're gonna have your hands-free call buttons, as well as the control pad for the center LCD display. Just like all GM Chevy vehicles, you're gonna have a seek or scan rocker on the back of the left side of the steering wheel, and a volume rocker on the back of the right. This vehicle does have push button start. Over here, we have your gear selection. Um, General Motors decided to not do the uh, rotary dial shifter, which is, kind of very popular in the industry right now and in my opinion I like this a lot more this is actually very cool which brings us to the touchscreen display it is the same uh, system that is in the new Silverado uh, trucks very responsive does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as you can see also has the trailering app and I believe uh, Chevy and GM is the only company to offer the pre-trip checklist within their trailering app so you can uh, tow safely, which is very nice. You can also access the 360 degree camera system from here. And then I believe, uh, depending on what trim you get, you can actually get Amazon Alexa as well on this. So that's pretty cool. And it is also uh, 4G LTE connected. Below that, we have physical buttons for the audio, volume, back, forward, home button, or the back button on the screen. Then we have your tune or select button. Below that, we have the dual zone climate control for the vehicle, as well as heated seats for the driver and passenger. We have the rear climate control on off, or the rear climate. You push the rear climate button, and the uh, occupants in the back will be able to control their own climate, so very cool. 
Under that you have an SD card reader, USB-C, USB, as well as a 12 volt outlet. You also have a wireless charging mat right here as well. Two cup holders, and then a leather wrapped RS center console. Now this center console is power adjustable. I will go over that in just a minute. Push the button to access an LED lit storage compartment right here. As you can see, very nice leather seats in this. This is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful SUV. We have a glove box right here. Up top we have a LED lit vanity for a passenger as well as driver. Now up top we have three door universal garage remote. Dome light control when the doors are open. Your LED dome lights are right here. These two buttons on the side control those seats right there. So if you have to put something in the back, you can move the seats before even getting out. This button right here opens the trunk. Right now it is in the max open configuration. I can turn it to the three quarters open or off. When it's in the off position, I'll have to physically go to the back of the trunk to open it. In front you have this these arrows going forward or backwards. That is for this center console. This can actually slide in between the two seats right there, which is very cool. And then on either side you have the um, controls for the panoramic sunroof. In front of that you have the standard GM OnStar buttons and then an auto dimming rear view mirror. Overall, very impressed with this redesign. They absolutely knocked it out of the park. Let's take a look at the back and see how much legroom we have. So getting in is very easy. Uh, with the seat situated where it would be if I was driving, I'd say I have a solid five to six inches of legroom before my knees hit. You do have storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Two cup holders, rear climate controls, as well as heated seats for the captain's chairs, USB-C and HDMI ports. Down here you also have a 115 volt, uh, 400 watt max power outlet. And you may be asking, why are there HDMI plugs in here? Well, that is because you get TV screens in the back of the driver and passenger seats. Now, I was talking to a Chevy specialist before I got in this, and they were actually t telling me, if the person who's driving doesn't want to mess with the touch screen, you can go into navigate. Let's say you want to go to Starbucks, type in Starbucks. You can then send it to that touch screen so the driver doesn't even need to take their eyes off the road, which is very cool. So you can also, you have HDMI connections obviously, so um, you know, one Xbox or one PlayStation, you wanna play two player, boom, you can do that. You can have HDMI one on both screens. So very, very cool. Very sturdy armrests, very nice. Also too, this being the Tahoe, it is not the longest version, however, you do have a lot of room. I'll go over that in a second. Up top, you have LED dome map lights on both sides, as well as heating, cooling vents, and integrated hanger hooks. Now let's go to the back. Now the Tahoe is the shorter of the two. Suburban is the longer one. And even in the new Tahoe, I mean, in the Suburban, I was I was pretty much eat, eating my knees. Now I have maybe maybe an inch of legroom. So the fact that I'm not you know up here like this, and I can actually put my feet on the ground and have legroom is very nice. Uh, back here, you do have a cup holder and a storage compartment, as well as a USB-C outlet. Same mirrored image on the passenger side of the vehicle. You also have heating, cooling vents up top and LED dome map lights. Very nice, and then you have hanger hooks up here as well. And something I didn't notice at first, in the back, the headliner actually bubbles up right here by the rear passengers, giving the people in the third row seats even more headroom. Absolutely awesome. Let's take a look at the back and see how much cargo space we so have. To open the trunk on this vehicle, you're gonna come up here, push the button, and it's gonna automatically open for you. Decent amount of storage. You do have a little bit of underfloor storage as well. Here's that power outlet I was talking to you guys about earlier. And then you can actually control all the seats from these buttons right here. Second row, first row. So you can fold everything down, giving you even more cargo space. To close the trunk, you're gonna come up here, push the trunk close button. It's gonna wait a second, and then it will automatically close for you. Very, very cool. 
So I will be uploading a bunch of Chicago Auto Show content in the coming days. If that's something that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing and sharing the video. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.